This Rapier 33 has three mini humbuckers. They're the Entwistle Low Noise EWR64 mini humbuckers. They've got an output of about 6K and it does some cool things. So it's got a three-way switch and that's a bit like a three-way switch on like a Gibson Les Paul or a Telecaster. So just ignore the middle humbucker for the time being. So you've got neck, both pickups and bridge. But then when you flick one of these switches, it brings in the middle pickup. So you've got seven positions overall. And you can have sort of any combination of those because there's two volume pots. One does the front and middle, one does the bridge. It's really quite a versatile guitar. It's also got another switch, which is a bass cut, which sounds, well, a lot like this. It's just one of those cool things that if you're, <laughs> well, if you're doing a gig or in a studio and you think I need a guitar sound that's different so I can, you know, if you want to do an intro or especially a layer in the studio, you've got that sound just at the flick of a switch. You don't have to click a, well, you could have a separate pedal, but it's easier if your guitar just does it. Just a cool feature. It's just something different that a lot of guitars don't do. A couple of things I've noticed about this. The neck is maple and it's really white. I don't know if they whitewashed it or used a, a white stain. I really like the color of that. It just looks really nice. Also the body, it's about 39 or 40 mil thick, which is thinner than like your standard Strat. You'd expect that to be about 44, 45. But it's not thin in, it's not like a Squire Bullet thin, which is around 40 mil as well. It just feels, in fact, when I first played it last night, I checked whether it had a, a gut cut or an arm contour, just because it felt so nice. And it doesn't have either of those, but it feels really comfortable around you. It's a bit like, this is going to sound ridiculous, but it's a bit like how a Gibson SG feels, because they're about 35 mil thick. And they, I know they've got that beveled edge, but they just feel really comfortable. For a slab of wood, it feels like it's shaped to your body and it isn't. I don't know, it must be to do with the thickness and it doesn't feel, you don't pick it up and go, oh, that's a thin guitar. You pick it up and go, that's a comfortable guitar. I don't quite know how they've managed that. Now I was sent this by JHS and there's a few things that I've noticed. The walnut plug, that's such a nice touch on the headstock. It just makes it look a bit more interesting. So it goes around the truss rod cover. It's got Wilkinson tuners. It's also got a zero fret. So it's got a graph tech nut and then a zero fret. This guitar is set up phenomenally, but it's also got roller bridge saddles and this is a tunomatic bridge. So it's actually got a neck break angle. So like you'd expect on like a Gibson, that's probably why it's so comfortable actually, because the, the neck's obviously coming round, it sort of wraps around you a bit, like you'd get on a Les Paul or an SG. But just on this style of guitar, you don't expect that kind of thing. And it's really, really well set up. Now this is something Joe Walsh pointed out. He said, if your bridge is really low to the body, it's better. Whereas if the bridge has to be a mile away to get the right action, then it's not gonna be as good. I haven't tested that but this is almost right on the body. So looks like it should be even better. I mean, it feels great. In fact, I played this last night and I played it for a long time just to get a feel for it. It's really, really interesting guitar. Love the fact it's got a neck angle. It's just so much more comfortable. It's got 25.5 inch scale length. So it feels as you'd expect, but it's got, it's got all these features that just makes it a bit, I'm gonna say better, probably different. I don't, I haven't played enough guitars with a zero fret to, to know if there's a difference, but it feels great. And the setup, whoever's setting these guitars up, I'd like them to do some of my other guitars because they're this is really, really nice. The capacitor is a 0.15, so it should be less muddy than you'd expect. Just checking there's no rear cavity. Now, what I've been told is if you go on the bridge pickup and turn the tone nearly all the way down, you get the woman tone, which should be interesting. <laughs> drive on it, it just it does sound good. I'm just gonna kick on a full on distortion pedal just to show you you can get some. Yeah, it doesn't just do clean. Might as well hear the bridge without any distortion. They've got a nice amount of high end, but you've got this bass cut switch so you can get it I'm gonna say jangly like a Telecaster. Not really, but in that sort of territory. Well, you, you got humbuckers, so it's gonna be very quiet. It's just nice playing something that doesn't have your standard humbucker or single coil. So once you've got those guitars, it's definitely better to go off-piste and get something with P90s, mini humbuckers, maybe lipstick pickups. If you look to an Anderson's website, these are about 430. You might be able to get them on Amazon if you can. I'll put a link in the description. 
but it's just something that can do loads of stuff that your other guitars can't. Like, name a guitar that has a bass cut switch. Well, and three pickups. Well, a Strat's got three pickups, but then they're, they're not like this. It's just different, but cool different. It's got features that you just don't see. Like, I know you can change a bridge to roll, a bridge saddles. You don't see a zero nut on many guitars. Weirdly, I swear I see it on like more classical guitars than anything else. But I do think it's a good idea. Here's a video on the Vintage V6. It's a bit more traditional. It's got three single coils, although the version I tried had a humbucker and the bridge, because that's what I asked for. Just think a humbucker and the bridge is better. Doesn't have a zero fret or a bass cut or any of these these cool things or an angled headstock. But if you're looking for something a bit more traditional, I think they're about 350 quid. You can't really go wrong.